Said I got another review for you guys, so let's roll the intro and get the show on the roll. This time around, I didn't see any other wide releases, but this time I'm going to do something different than I did a couple weeks back, and if you remember what I did a couple weeks back, then you'll definitely know where this review is going. For those of you who don't know about Chris Stuckman, he is what I think the greatest YouTube movie critic there is. He gives very honest and funny movie reviews every week, but every now and then he takes the time to give us one of his short films, uh, whether it's Unknown User, The Margaret Avenue Killings, or even a feature film like Indiana Jones. Jones in the Eyes of Eternity. The guy really knows what he's doing behind the camera, and his newest one is The Life of a Detective. In the film, Chris plays a detective who pretty much loves his job and loves the city that he patrols and lives in, and he keeps on having these haunting visions of where he thinks his death is going to take place. And he ends up finding one more case which will help him either find something to strive for in life, or will just make him more miserable than he already is in the city he works for. Now, I've seen almost every single one of Chris Stuckman's short films, and I gotta say, Say that this one is probably my favorite one. But Chris's performance, is, which is really the only character you get to know, he does a great job and he has no dialogue, which is surprising. The way he conveys emotion through his facial expressions for the horror that his character is going through and the just the depressing attitude that he has because of the city he's in, he really nailed it down. He had me convinced throughout and this is a very different performance of Chris's, but he freaking nailed it. Second, the music is fantastic in this. I was really on the edge of my seat throughout as it really sent a shiver down my spine. Especially because I like to consider the music and voiceover narrations in this film kind of like a companion to the film Taxi Driver because you have a character who is disillusioned by the society he lives in and he doesn't really enjoy life overall and he's just trying to find something worth living for. And I found that Chris's portrayal of this detective was very strong in comparison to uh, Travis Bickle. And let me tell you, Chris, I knew what you were trying to do with those hallway scenes. Don't lie, man. I know that that hallway scene was similar to this, but still, Great homage, man. For a 22-minute short film, I was really on the edge of my seat as the things that his character goes through, it really kept me interested. My eyes were glued to the screen because of the suspenseful music and the very creepy atmosphere that was created. God, this is just a very spine-tingling suspense film as the music and the situations that Chris's character gets into really keeps you interested. I've been following the work of Chris Stuckman from both his movie reviews to his short films ever since his review of The Last Airbender, which he became very famous for last year. And man, you have really gotten a lot of stuff down and improved over the past almost year or so. You have really turned into one really great person, not only as a great movie reviewer, but as a very phenomenal short film filmmaker. Overall, I'm going to give The Life of a Detective a very strong 4.5 out of 5 stars. Out of all short films I've seen on YouTube, this is definitely one of my favorite ones from how the suspense is created and that Chris's performance, even without any dialogue sexually said except for the voiceovers, Really original and really cool, very suspenseful. Check it out right now. Link is below.